Hi, I'm David Bennett, a forest protection officer here on the Coconino National Forest. Um, our duties uh, consist of uh, uh, responding to wildland fires that happen on the forest as well as making public contacts uh, while on patrol in the forest. Um, one of the things we occasionally come across after a busy weekend uh, is a neglected uh, campsite and it can consist of trash or a fire or sometimes both. Um, this one in particular, uh, there's trash as you can see and uh, a campfire that's been left uh, essentially unattended. The people have uh, departed the forest and one of our main duties is to come and take care of these small uh, unattended fires so they don't get out of the ring and cause other large fires. Here on the Coconino, uh, our fire prevention patrol units typically will have a pickup truck and a small pump unit. Um, ours will either carry 50 gallons or 100 gallons and they'll have a small component of hose uh, on the truck and it basically allows us to pump a small amount of water uh, maybe 50 to 100 feet from the truck at any one time um, and it, that allows us to basically suppress very small fires uh, or at least knock them down where we can um, get some other resources on them. A couple of things you need to put a fire out properly is a shovel or some kind of digging device and then obviously uh, a large amount of water or fairly large amount of water. Um, we try and convey to the public to bring extra water uh, just for putting out their fire beyond drinking water, beyond uh, hand washing, things like that. Uh, bring another dedicated probably 10 gallons of water uh, so you can properly put out your campfire. Um, the, the key to it basically is water and stirring. So you're going to cool off the fire with some water the first uh, go around and then basically stir it up and you just repeat until the fire is completely cold and out. So let it steam for a little bit and uh, we'll stir it and then we'll repeat the same process. So after you've mixed and stirred a couple of times and it's good and muddy, the last thing to do is actually check with your bare hand. Um, and we call this cold trailing, but it's essentially just checking for heat with your hand. Um, it's good to use the back of your hand just because the, the front of your hand is more sensitive. So you're literally just feeling around in the fire for any extra heat that you've missed. And I don't feel any in this one.